Breaking news. A 29-year-old man suddenly lost his ability to spell. Insignificant symptom leads to an unexpected medical discovery. As it has been confirmed by multiple witnesses, a man on the brink of his 30s suddenly lost his ability to spell names, which was evident from an email he sent to his roommates on Monday night, October 26th. While he successfully managed to use the correct spelling for the first two names, the third one was certainly a challenge for him. He had added at least two extra letters in the middle and at the end. Of course, spelling a name, especially a foreign one, can be a tricky endeavor, even for the most educated person. However, that was not the reason that alarmed his roommates. Their main concern came out from the fact that he had been spelling said name correctly for the past two years. That seemed very unusual. Seriously worried about his mental well-being, the roommates turned to doctors for help in order to figure out the reason for such a drastic change in his cognitive abilities. After the series of observations and tests, doctors dismissed the theory that the roommate in question was hit on the head by a boulder or another comparably heavy object. The only other explanation for the mysterious change in his behavior determined to be a severe case of latent assholeism. The doctors were not able to determine how long exactly the patient had been suffering from this debilitating, debilitating, debilitating disorder. But most of them agreed that it must have been developed over the course of the last 10 to 20 years. When reached for comments on whether there might be a possible cure for this unfortunate ailment, Dr. Bustenballen provided with the following explanation, quote, Unfortunately, severe cases of untreated assholism are very hard to cure. It might take years, if not the rest of the person's life. While the condition is not deadly, it can seriously impact a person's behavior in such a way that makes them intolerable even to their closest friends and family. They often lead them to a painful, solitary existence where the only thing that supports them is the illusion of their own greatness." End quote. He also gave us a detailed description of the symptoms associated with the disease. Namely, misspelling names is only the tip of the iceberg. Other symptoms might include irrational acts such as ripping up their own things or walking around half-naked while in the presence of certain people in a futile attempt to get their attention while usually leaving some witnesses in a state of confusion. Other witnesses might find this symptom, these symptoms quite entertaining and get a good laugh out of them, which is the only benefit that assholism brings to society." End quote. When asked whether he is planning to undergo the treatments that might at least make his disease less evident, to everyone around him, the unfortunate assholic replied quite emphatically that he will do, quote, whatever the fuck he wants, the way he has always done, end fucking quote.